welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra and I'm broadcasting live from Los Angeles. The topic of today is to trust, trusting life, trusting the existence. I'm going to get into that in details and uh, explain to you what I mean by trusting, by letting go, by this imaginary a person who thinks is in control and driving this vehicle. So we're going to talk about that more in details. Papaji Punjaji, my sad guru, always said the apparent life takes care of itself. The apparent life takes care of itself. The life that appears to be, the world that appears to be real, it takes care of itself. You don't have to do anything. And it's incredible to see that the more we, the more you recognize this, the more you let go, the more you relax into this life in the being and the more you let go of this imaginary will that you're hanging on to the wheel that you are actually driving this vehicle you're in charge and the more you let it go the more you see how it takes care of itself and everything is provided in a very magical way, in this mystery, the mystery of life. That in fact, you don't really need to do anything. The deeper you go, the more you realize, the more it becomes clear that you don't need to do anything. Anything you need will be provided. So, what we're going to do is, at the end of the day, if I forget, remind me, Hilde, remind me that I give you guys a homework. And I, wanted to, I want you to do this homework this week. And then we'll go from there. Hi, Elizabeth, do you have a question? Let's see. Elizabeth? Okay, you disappeared. That's okay. I think our chat box is, for now, it's closed. Amir, are you there? Did you close the chat box? Anyway, if you have a question, kind of wave at me. I think our chat box, we closed it and we muted everyone because of this fellow who comes and interrupts. So, but I thought somebody wanted to talk to me. Okie dokie. So trust, trusting life, trusting existence. <sighs> I've seen this over and over again, having five near death experiences, five times I should have died, five times I came to this point of kissing death. Death came and kissed my lips and five times was close to take me. I think in some level, some parallel reality I have already died. I should have been dead. Some of the cases were too close for me to get away from death. Now, why didn't I die in these cases? 
And somehow, in a very magical way, all these five times, my life was spared. So, somehow, existence didn't want to take me. When you're trusting life, when you're in this place, when you start to see through the fabric of this reality, and you started to see that something much greater than you, the power, Her Majesty, the Supreme, is running the show. Something is manipulating things and feeding everybody, putting things together or ripping things apart. You begin to see that connection. And as you begin to notice it and see it, you surrender more into it and you can relax into it, allow it to do its thing and carry on. So I'll tell you a story. I got a lot of stories about trusting. And then later on, I wanna read something from my book. But this weekend, this past weekend, after our, um, our workshop, Sunday afternoon, I go camping. I go in the desert. And I go to the Southern California desert, Joshua Tree, to an area that it's uh, in the middle of nowhere and it doesn't have phone reception. So I take my motor home there with a buddy of mine, the two of us, we go. And I wanted to go somewhere. I wanted to disappear. I didn't want to have phone connection, internet connection. I just want to go somewhere very still, quiet, in the middle of nowhere, and gaze into the sky at night and watch the stars and just be quiet and enjoy the stillness and the silence of the Southern California desert. So I have an older RV and uh, my friend by mistake, he goes to turn off the engine and then it turns the switch a little bit too far out. So the engine is off, but the electrical part of it is on. So what happens, it drains the batteries. So we're in the middle of nowhere and we wake up the next morning I go there to turn on the engine to get some electricity and, and batteries are completely dead. There's nothing. Now you can't have anything, no air conditioning, no music, no, you can't turn on the water pump. So you don't have anything. However, we still had some gas. We had propane, we could cook something. So we get up, we have no phone reception, there's nothing around, no one's around. And neither of us panic. This friend of mine's also a, a devotee of silence, so he's very advanced. So the two of us just hanging out, we say, okay, well, let's have, let's make some coffee since we have propane and we can cook. Let's make our coffee, let's make some eggs, and let's just relax. So we make coffee, we make eggs, we're just sitting there enjoying being in the desert and doing nothing. We're just hanging out. An hour goes by, two hours go by. And now the desert starts to get hot. The first day was cold and windy. The second day we're there, it starts getting really hot. And we're just sitting there. So we at one point we contemplate, okay, what's the next move? And I go, okay, well, we're just gonna have to walk. It would probably takes about an hour walk to get to somewhere and hopefully we're going to run into somebody who's driving by and see if they're willing to help us. So we're just hanging out. 